It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> Hello, besties. Essie here for Nat and Essie. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to need our paintbrush. We're going to need a little bit of water to wash off our paintbrush. And of course, we have our paint. Now, we want to protect our surface, so I have a paper towel there to just catch whatever drips or mess that we are going to make. And so let's begin. Oh, this one doesn't look very promising. <laughs> it's so dry. Let's see. We might make it work with some water. Ooh, I think that works. Yeah. We're gonna paint everything except where the circles are because those are going to be white polka dots. So we don't have to paint that. The paint is definitely old. Right now, you can't really tell. It looks very pale, but don't worry. We might have to do a second and third coat on this one. It means that I will have to repaint this a second or third time. You know what? What if we use the other pink? <laughs> oh no, this one is dry too. Ah, uh, it's the same thing. Now on to her dress. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and paint all over. And then later, um, I'm probably just going to go and look for a white paint. That way we can just paint the white polka dot separately. So that is it for her dress for now. Now let's move on to her shoes. We are going to need the purple paint, which is of course also super dry. <laughs> it's actually applying better than the pink one. We're gonna grab a little bit of that pink again. That's what we are going to use for the bows of her shoes. And now that we're right here on the bottom of the figure, we're gonna get our green paint. And that's what we are going to use for the base. Ooh, you can barely see it. Load it up again. I can see the green in real life, but I know on camera, you can barely see it. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to that. <laughs> now let's get our black paint here. Oh, this one is actually something that might work. Oh, it's not dry, yay! Oh my goodness. I'm so happy one of the paints work. are actually also the color black. We actually need purple for the bottom skirt here. There we go. Let's go ahead and paint the bottom skirt pink. Then we're also going to paint the ears black. For the first coat of Minnie Mouse. Alright, so the next step is to just let this dry and once it's dry, we'll come back and do a second coat. She's gonna look so much better, I promise. The first coat is dry, let's go ahead and do the second coat. We're basically gonna do the same thing and this time we're gonna try to focus on areas that we missed or areas that are in need of more paint. 
When I come back, you should be able to see the result of the second and third coat. Because I think we're gonna need a third coat on this one. See you later! And here it is after the third coat. Awesome! It looks so much better. I love it! Colors are more vibrant, less patchy, and overall, way, way better. <laughs> now we just need one last thing to do, and that is to create the dots on her bow and on her dress. So, let's pour some of that in this little container. We don't need a whole lot. And fingers crossed that this will work. Here we go. We're gonna start at the back because that's like our little practice area. Oh, great, awesome. It's working, y'all. It's working. to the bow. And that's it! Here is the finished product of our Minnie Mouse Paint Your Own Piggy Bank. Oh, it turned out so great! And I had a lot of fun making it! Now all you have to do is to get your coin and put some money in this Minnie Mouse piggy bank. Essie here for Night and Essie. See you in our next craft video. And remember, stay super duper. Bye!